random questions, okay? Okay, okay. Random, funny, interview questions. I got to look nice for the interview. That's it. I would look... I, I don't know. I don't know. Shoo. Looking fresh, buddy. <laughs> My guy, welcome to episode segment two of what did what did Coach Peter call it? Graham he said he called it Graham Crackers, the Graham Cracker Show. What's our Gra thoughts about that name? Yeah, we like yeah. it. Or does it need some work? No, no, that's I, oh, perfect. Good? That's perfect. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can you tell uh, can you tell the One Up fam your your name, how old you are, and what club you play for? Uh, my name is Mateo. Full name Mateo Reyes. Uh, I play for Southwest United, um, and I am a keeper. Right, and how old are you, Teo? Uh, I'm 11 years old. I just turned 11 in February. And what's your background? Uh, my dad is from Colombia, but my my mom is from here in Canada. Okay, nice. Remember, I thought you were Polish. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy guy, man. What? Crazy guy, man. Crazy guy. This guy says. Uh, so Teo, thank you so much for uh, for being a one-up faithful. Tell us a little bit about uh, this camp. And tell us a little bit about what you've enjoyed about One Up Soccer so far. I think, well, about this camp, I think it's just a really good uh, environment around. So, like, all the coaches are always, you know, really, like, they want to have fun with the players. They're always super hyped. Like, let's say you hit a top bins, Tony's going to go <laughs> wild. Everybody's going to go wild. You're going to hear it if you hit bins. Yeah. There, huh? But they still want you to focus, they still want you to learn. But at the same time, you can have a fun time here at 1UP. That's what I think. I like that. Thank you for that. And that's something that's super important. Is you have to have that, that we speak about that switch being flipped. Yeah. Where it's like, for me, when I was playing, I always tell this to the players, I was always like a clown during the water break. I was always like playing jokes and having lots of fun. But as soon as the, start, the ball started rolling, I would switch my attitude and I would turn into a beast. And I think that's something that we try to do here. And, I, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm glad you noticed that where we, it is stress-free, and we do love enjoying the players' company, and the players give us energy, but something that's important, I'm glad you said, is that when the ball's rolling, like, we have details to work on. Yep. That's great. And how long have you been with us? I think almost two years now. Almost two years now. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. Um, something about Teo that's really interesting is Teo's actually a f pretty much now a full-time Yeah, I'm full-time. Full-time goalkeeper, but he trains with us one time a week as a player. Same with Blakey, shout out Blake who's in goal over there. And we have like a decent amount of keepers um, that, 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 are, that come here and train as a player because that's super important. Yeah. Now, at the top level, goalkeepers touch the ball at their feet more than any player. So you have to be good with your feet and I think that's something that I have to give you credit for. Like even there as a player, you, you fit right in and excel. Thank you. But when you have the ball at your feet as a keeper, you're very comfortable and if you want to make it to the heights of your of your career as a goalkeeper, you have to be able to distribute, have a good first touch ground in air. We were speaking about aerial control before. Yep. You have to be able to distribute with both feet. So that's yeah. that's fantastic. What's something? Um, give me something that you, as a player now, yeah. yeah. So no goalkeeper attributes that you think you excel in, and something that you think that's a gap of yours. Um, I think I excel in passing. Um, I think I'm pretty good in that. I think I'm pretty good with my vision and player habits. I think I'm pretty good with that stuff. I'm usually checking my shoulders. And if I'm not, then, well, I lose the ball sometimes, but that that's because that I didn't check my shoulders, right? Um, something I could work on, I think my defending. Uh, I think I need to work on my defending a little bit because... Okay. Uh, a lot of the time I don't know when to go to the ball or should I stay back and delay the ball a little bit and sometimes they get past me and so yeah that's what I think I like that that's a really that's very very good self-awareness that's the key players huh? being self-aware of your game and I liked how you mentioned you when you lose the ball oftentimes it's because your vision and awareness so mistakes yeah. are okay but it's also important to know why you made those mistakes yeah. huh? so you can fix it next time I like it we always speak about not always improving your gaps, improving your weaknesses as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 
I'm gonna say that again. Not improving your gas, but also increasing and improving your strength. Yeah. Because that's gonna give you an X factor, a 10 out of 10, a 9 out of 10 in certain areas, yeah. not only a 7 out of 10 in everything. So that's, I think that's super important. I also find it very interesting, and it's great that your, your best attributes are important to be a goalkeeper. So uh, I'm happy for you to keep grinding with us, and uh, I predict big things for this guy. I'm gonna ask you now, as the second segment of our talk show, I'm gonna ask you some funny questions that have nothing to do about football. Okay, and okay. I want to know, and the, and the people want to know something more behind closed doors of Mr. Theo. If you could have any extraordinary superhero power, what would you choose and why? Oh, I would have to do tri time travel. Time travel? Yeah. Interesting. Future or past? I can't choose both. You want to? Yeah, you can choose both. Uh, like, you're superpower. I think both because I'm really interested in like history as like a subject in school. Okay. I really like history. And so I what, think what period would you go back to? Nineteen fifties or earlier. The nineteen fifties or earlier. Or earlier, earlier yeah. yeah. Interesting. And um I also like I think it would be pretty cool to go to the future. Um and see what happens. So where do you see yourself? You go you go ten years. Yeah. Twenty one. Where are you going to see yourself? Starting for Real Madrid. Real Madrid? Yeah. Hala Madrid. Sí. No way. Wow, is that your club? Mm-hmm. At least it's not Chelsea. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> You're going to do me like that? My bad, my bad. Speaking about Real Madrid, did yeah. you know that I went on trial there? Yeah. I told you the story. Yeah. It's a cool story. I was playing a game in Calgary, if I, if, if, I, I think I've told you bits and pieces, but I'll say the full one. Playing a game in Calgary, 14, 15 year, years old, always wanted to go to Europe, didn't know how I was going to get there. A coach from New York sees me play, invites me to a camp, Real Madrid, it's like 40 North Americans. We go and play the 92s, my age group, I know yeah. that seems like a long time ago. The 92 age group under 15s, Okay. I play a good game, Real Madrid call me, they want me on trial. I go there two weeks, sitting next to Alvaro Morata for two weeks and all those players. Um, as a, I think I was the first Canadian ever to go on trial there, which was which was really really cool. And then yeah, and then because uh, I don't speak about that enough. And then like I guess that I didn't sign me. I go there and they're like you have to be top three. <laughs> like I just came from like Cedar Bray <laughs> Fields. No offense. Shout out Southwest United. And then I go to their training ground with like, Madrid. Marata. It was crazy, but it opened doors for me, and that's how I was able to get to get over there. That's awesome. Man. Cool. So that you would, you would be a time traveler, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you really hard questions because now I'm touched about you making fun of Chelsea. <laughs> um. Wow. You know what's crazy? I swear. Look at this. Read this number. Read this question. Which one? If you had a time machine to go anywhere you wanted, past or future, where would you go and why? Um, you had a time machine. Exactly. So you in the future. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just say something? Yeah. As soon as I put up this, the guy in the camera over there was laughing. He just, you couldn't hear him though. <laughs> what, the 2 nil? 3 nil. What are you talking about 2 nil? Are you, still, are you still talking about that? No, no, no. I'm what just... about the year before when we smacked you? Uh, a and year. And we won the champion. A year ago. Remember that? A year ago. Remember that a year ago. Okay, should we have a little a, a, a friendly bet who's going to make it farther in the Champions League, Chelsea or Real Madrid? Bet. Like if I was going, I'll be honest, with my head, this year I would say Real Madrid, but I'm going to go with my heart. What are we going to bet? Mm. A donut. Chelsea makes it to court or semifinals yeah. versus Liverpool, okay? Yeah. And... Or should we say, or should we bet who's going to go further in the Champions League, Real or Chelsea? You Real Madrid, me, you Real Madrid, me Chelsea. Okay, what are we gonna? What's the wager? Wager? Or what? Yeah. How about like? Or how about this? How about this? The the next session, mm -hmm. I coach you. Yeah. If Real Madrid win, I'll wear a Real Madrid shirt. <gasps> if Chelsea make it further, you have to wear a Chelsea shirt. Oh, bet. Yeah. So yeah. like after let like let's say. Chelsea goes quarterfinals and they get knocked out, and Real Madrid gets past quarterfinals. Yeah. You have I'll to wear Real Madrid shirt. No uh, okay. Like okay, a couple more questions. Let's see. Um, 
We have this on camera now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's proof. That's proof. We'll hold you. We'll, we'll hold each other to it. You're getting this right. <laughs> um, if you had to work, yeah, but didn't need the money, so money aside, okay, what would you do? Be one of those guys at like a zipline park. <laughs> zipline park? Yeah. Just yossing the people down the zipline. <laughs> and going down the zipline. I like that. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather know. fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I'll repeat the question. Would so a hundred horses the size of a duck? <laughs> yeah. Or, or a duck the size of a horse. So like a duck we're estimating like this big, yeah? Yeah. And a hundred of them. Yeah. So you gotta fight them all. Or a horse-sized duck? Yeah. I'm fighting the 100 little horses, bro. <laughs> yeah. There ain't no way I'm going against that duck. Uh-uh. No way. My guy, you're an absolute legend. It's a pleasure to coach you and it's a pleasure to be your friend. Thanks. I think uh, you're getting called for your next game, so you go and play. Yep. Thank you for being episode two, my guy. Thank okay? you. My guy, all the best. Say bye. Bye. True. <laughs> Whoa! Stop that, man. Get out of here. <laughs>